Hey dudes and and dolls, my name is Ida Soda and I'm just here to give you a quick tutorial on one of the best, and I really do mean best, uh, effects on Adobe After Effects for non-Disney editors, honestly. So uh, usually you know that a big part of uh, doing the type of editing work we do is removing characters from the backgrounds. And as you can see, I'm in the middle of removing Belle from here. What I've done first is something I've already done a tutorial on, you can take a look at that. I've We'll put a link in the description below, uh, which is just me having removed her for as much as I can from one frame to the last frame. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is use an effect called Content Aware Fill. And it's honestly a really, really good tool. So first and foremost, I have uh, already removed a lot of Belle already, but I want to remove the rest of her so I can get a good practice background without having someone else there. So first thing first, I'm going to uh, mask away the things I don't need. In this case, I mean Belle. I'm gonna subtract that and then I'm gonna do the rest of her here. It's just a quick mask. Don't get it too close to what you want to remove, uh, just for, to make the transition a little bit more uh, smooth. So here, and remember to make it subtract because otherwise it's gonna yeah, it's going to do the wrong part of the picture. So as you can see, and now I've done this, and this is just a picture. I've just put uh, this all the way down. We just need one picture. We don't need like 60 of them. And then I open Content Awareness Fill, which I, which I already have here. I have the object on, lightning correction, strong work area, and then generate fill layer. And what this is going to do is it basically uses an AI to just remove the rest of Bell. Is it perfect? No. Does it does it resolve heavily depend on what background and what's going on? Sure. But as you can see, it just did a lot of work for me. You can just you can see the difference here. This was what I was uh, what I did on my own, just like masking out the uh, frame by frame to get as much as of her away as I possibly could. And now the content awareness filter has just done the rest of the work for me. So yeah, this is a really useful tool. If you're in a non-Disney crossover editor or you do anything editing-wise where you need to remove something, the content aware fill is extremely useful. So just wanted to make a quick tutorial for you guys and I hope you get to use it. And if you do, please do share your crossovers with me. See you guys later. Bye!